this is Tuan from PC Gamer. And this is Wes from PC Gamer. So Wes, uh, heard you went to a really cool place in China this summer. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, so recently I was over in Taiwan for Computex and I got to go to Dongguan, China to visit NZXT's factory where they make PC cases and I got to see the whole assembly process from the very beginning where they make toolings all the way through painting and uh, final assembly and shipping them out. So what you actually saw at the factory when you saw the tooling being made, it was actually um, prototyping for a brand new case. And I believe you did see mass production cases rolling off the line too. Yeah, I saw a bunch of mass production cases. They would basically take these toolings once they had been built and put them on a ton of machines throughout this long assembly line. These machines are just giant, um, giant metal kind of punches, presses exactly, that the toolings go into and then they'll feed in you know, a piece of metal for a side panel or something, press it down, that'll punch out the dimensions that are set in that tooling, and then they'll pass that on to somebody else in the assembly line. And so all told, a case can take 60, upwards of 60, even to 100 if it's a really complex case different toolings to build the whole thing, which is really expensive. The average, yeah, the average cost to, to make a mid-tower case could be upwards of 150,000 US dollars. Pretty expensive, that's just, just to make the tooling itself without you know future errors or other adjustments that need to be made. So you have to sell a lot of cases to make up for that money. And this factory can actually produce a pretty healthy number of cases while it's operating. They'll generally be able to make like 80 to 100 cases an hour for some more complex cases, that number is a little bit lower. It can be as low as like 60 if it's a really big, you know, full tower case or something. But we're still talking about a, you know, a case a minute kind of rolling off the assembly line. So the second stage I saw was the painting phase where they first run these metal components through a kind of a liquid bath to remove any impurities and prime the surface to be painted. And then there's someone who actually blow torches off the metal to prep it for a powder coat of paint. And then it runs through a machine to be powder coated that's kind of automated. But then you also have more manual labor, people uh, painting in sort of the nooks and crannies to make sure that the, the automated coat, you know, didn't miss anything in that process. And the, uh, the blow torching actually uh, completely incinerates any loose metal pieces or debris on the case. And the painting process, white is the most difficult color to work with just because it's the most sensitive to UV. So, you know, leaving your case near the window in the sun can impact its color. Um, and matching metal white to uh, plastic white is virtually impossible without having to coat a panel or a plastic piece multiple times just to overcome that. Yeah, so then the, the final stage of the assembly process I got to see was the, the literal assembly where you have, you know, they'll cart in all these pieces that have already been, you know, pressed through the toolings, they've been painted, and then it's time to put all of them together. And again, this is a really manual process where you'll have people sitting along an assembly line, they'll have kind of the skeleton of a case in front of them, and it's their job to put on the side panels, to screw pieces in, to put on you know a top panel and run the wires through properly for your USB and, and all of that stuff. And then once they've done that, they still have to you know, put on like the styrofoam packaging and box the whole thing up and ship into the next room to get ready to store it or send it right out to a retailer. That sounds really cool. So that was the, the whole NZXT factory tour. Uh, we have a big gallery up on the site with a ton more information, a bunch of photos I took uh, with details of kind of every stage of that process we just talked about. Goes in a lot more depth than we could go in here. So if you want to check that out, do so on PCGamer.com and we'll have more factory tour stuff to come in the future.